Hello. Great news this time. If you remember last shipment, we received all fancy shrimps as a block of ice. Well, this time it worked well and all of them arrived safe and sound. Let's acclimate them and start culling them into tanks together. I prepared a quarantine aquarium aside so I can place all of them together to monitor closely. However, I think it is not ready yet. So, we'll just put them into the tower tank for a couple of weeks, and, separate only the pure lines. Let's do it. People will tell you that shrimp can be acclimated differently which is true to some extent. But to me, the safest and most efficient method is called drip acclimation. It usually takes several hours if you follow the guidelines, and include acclimating your shrimp to the water of their new tank but slowly. Instead of pouring cups of water as you can with most fish species, the water will be added as drips using a tube and a control nozzle. Once the water parameters in the acclimating bucket become similar to the hosting tank, it'll be time to put the shrimps in their new home. Always done slowly, in here we made it 8 times speed, but at home take your time. I mean, look at those pretty creatures. While most of them can be considered culls, I see a lot of pure genes and beauty in the selection we received. Here are some fancy tigers. Pure black line. Pandas, crystal reds. And this is told, pure red line, while some might argue about the purity. Please tell me in the comments, what we should look at and how to identify a good line. Still stressed after shipping though. While waiting for you comments, I'm going to separate those into different tanks. Here's the tank that I prepared for quarantine. As you can see I'm still adding some botanicals and trying to make sure it is mature enough for shrimps. Even though we used Baki powder and aquarium boosters. For shrimps, it is preferable to wait. Usually, when you see those little microorganisms, it means your nitrification cycle is done. What I am looking for is the biofilm and enough food for shrimps to graze. So, I'll put a shrimp or two as test subject and see how it goes from there. Now, let's start separating. Today, we'll take only the pure red line and the golden bees. We'll put the golden bee in the golden bee tank. And, the pure red line with the red wine pinto. Keeping all tigers and mischlings for later processing. The main objective is, to have a pure red line tank. A fancy black tiger tank. And we'll use the quarantine tank for a mix of mistlings, crystals, tigers and other Taiwan bee shrimps. See what surprises we might get. We did a mistake, by not removing the decoration and other obstacles we had a lot of complications netting the shrimps. It is better to avoid any disturbance. Do not do what we did, take the good route. Listen to Mark Peggy he tells you what is best. Was a bit complicated but we made it. We'll keep culling as they grow. Look at what we got here, aren't those reds beautiful? I think they are Masura Red SSS or K14 on the German scale. And was assured to be pure red line. What do you think? This little one has PRL in it, I am mostly certain. Look at the eyes how red they are, unlike Golden Bee that mostly tend to be black eyes. I will add a macro close-up image at the end of the video so you can double check it with me.
I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to, like, share and subscribe. In the rushes you'll see most of the species together, let me know in the comments which is which in your opinion. And that's it for today. We'll be back next week with more updates. Look at the last image in this video and tell me what is the white caradina shrimp. A golden bee, a pure red line or something else. Thank you. Goodbye. Enjoy.